Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the Coinbase identification verification failed error in Coinbase 2025. If your identity verification on Coinbase fails, it's going to stop you from trading, withdrawing, or even accessing your account. This happens if the photo ID is blurry, expired, or your info doesn't match. So let's go through the exact steps to fix this and verify your identity successfully. The first step is to check the ID requirements. Make sure your ID is valid, government issued, unexpired, and clear. For example, the passport, driver's license, or national ID. The second thing you want to do is to upload a clear high quality photo. Use good lighting, natural light works best, and paste ID on a dark solid background and avoid glare or shadows. As you can see here, this ID card is blurry, so it won't work. The third step is to match your details exactly. Ensure your name and date of birth on the ID match your Coinbase profile perfectly. And the other thing you're gonna do is to update your Coinbase app. Older app versions may cause upload issues, so update it via the Play Store or App Store by going to Play Store or App Store depending on which device you're using. As I'm using an Android device, I'm just going to I'm just going to go to the Play Store, search for Coinbase, and if the update uh, option is available, click on update and update the app. The next thing you want to do is to try a different device or browser. You can upload your ID using a computer browser as coinbase.com if the app fails. And for the fifth, fi uh, sixth final step, you can contact the Coinbase support. If it keeps failing, submit a support request at help.coinbase.com. Identity verification issues are stressful, but following these steps will help you get verified and back to trading securely. Keep copies of your backup codes and ID verification receipts in a safe place for future references. And this was it for today's tutorial. If you liked this video and found this helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment below the video if you have further more questions about this topic. Thanks for watching, and see you again in the next tutorial.